Look how this blowover pulled up rocks with it. Oh my God. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good morning, everyone. Morning. It is uh, Sunday? On well, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. Um, Saturday morning, about 7.30. We got on the trail quite early this morning. We need to get to Unicoi Gap by 2 o'clock, where our shuttle is going to be waiting to take us back to Blood Mountain Cabins so we can uh, zero out tomorrow when the inclement weather is coming. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful morning this morning. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Sun is starting to come up over the horizon there. Um, the temperatures kinda... are great. It's in the 50s already this morning. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. So we only got about, I don't know, maybe about eight and a half miles to go. Uh, and it's all uphill. We're at about 3,200 feet right now. And we need to get to 4,002 feet or 4,001 feet. Uh, Blue Mountain, and then straight down the other side. I heard the down, straight down is pretty treacherous, so we'll fill you in. Should be pretty good on our knees, so. All right, guys, uh, that's all I got <laughs> so far, so we'll see you up on the trail. you guys my favorite part on the trail is when you get to walk through these green azaleas hollies I just feel like it's a warm hug I feel like both sides are coming in on you I don't know it's my favorite um, part of the hike besides the views in the mountains but I wanted to share a little with you today didn't get much sleep last night had a coyote coming to camp last night heard him howling off in the distance and then closer and closer and he came in and I heard one of the kids in the hammock yell at him and then I heard him run right in front of the shelter I yelled at him so I just basically laid awake there for like two hours waiting to see I slept right through yeah, yeah Tracy slept right through it had no idea what was going on <laughs> Can't even get going.
All right, here we are. I think it's called Blue Mountain. 4,002 feet. No view. Um, well, we have view today because there's no leaves on the trees, <coughs> which makes it nice, but we made it to the top. Now we have to drop down 1,100 feet in one and a half miles. Might as well be climbing down a ladder. Almost to the bottom here. Parking lot just is up around the corner there. 9.6 miles today in uh, uh, about five hours. We hauled that. Yeah, but this last, coming down this mountain was even harder than going up the other side. It was huge. It's steep, my knees are killing me. So let's get on over here. Our shuttle's gonna be here in about half hour. Good hike today though. Yeah, it was a good hike. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? It is day six. Uh, we are back at Blood Mountain Cabins. The rain has started. It is pouring. Uh, we're going to do a zero tomorrow. We are sitting at uh, 61.3 miles so far. Um, we're trying to decide what we're going to do because we're going to have a little bit of problem getting to the border and getting out. There's a, uh, a road access there that's closed. It's very difficult to navigate and there's a gate on it. So we'll figure that out tomorrow with the shuttles and everything. I'll get back with you on that. So I think that's about it. Um, it's We're gonna go to bed here. It's late at night, so late for us. So we'll talk to you guys in the morning.